Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Now, here's your host, Nate Nee. Welcome again to another episode of the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to increase referral traffic and acquire more customers to your website, whether that website is an e-commerce website, whether it's a services-based business, a consulting business, or a digital products company. Referral traffic is uh, critical to both diversifying your customer base and your, your potential customer base of incoming leads and opportunities, as well as just overall increasing the traffic to your website. Referral traffic has an extreme amount of value, particularly when it comes from the right sources. And referral traffic is um, is something that's uh, not, not typically discussed as much as organic website traffic. Most folks who have spent a lot of time building out websites, particularly those who are uh, big into link building and organic site traffic, don't uh, usually are, are a little bit myopic. They've got the blinders on and they're usually spending a lot of time focusing on getting more of that organic, you know, those organic visitors from people searching for whatever product or service they're providing. And they're not spending time on things like uh, social sharing and referral visits from other high authority websites. But the reality of the situation is, is when you have referral traffic and referral visitors, Google can see that, the search engines can see that, and you'll be getting more authority as a result of, of just the natural uh, course of, of business because those that a lot of the referral traffic comes from click-throughs, uh, from links, from shares of, of videos and posts on social media and Twitter and Facebook and things like that. The reality of this situation is, is that um, social... Uh, you know, the search is is increasing over social, according to WordStream. Over the last several years, you know, uh, and I'll, I'll we'll link to this in the in the show notes. But uh, search is becoming a, a much bigger and ha- has a much bigger role than it had in times past. You know, there was a run up in social media and discussions on whether or not social media would eclipse search. But search is is making a comeback in recent years, and organic search is usually. Uh, and the, the, it usually represents at least 50% of website traffic from, for most websites. Um, the interesting thing, though, is that referral, both referral traffic and social media traffic, which are two separate um, buckets uh, that are measured, are usually uh, fairly equal and just under 20% of website traffic. So that 15 to 20% of referral uh, website traffic is, is critical. And... Um, and it's important to understand that that traffic is and can be a good portion of leads coming to your site. So when you do have that referral traffic, it can be complementary to ancillary products or services that you provide, and it has funneling potential to funnel them into other products or service services, and it allows you to really hone in and see what kind of user behavior and user flow might be happening from the referrals that you're getting. Um, one of the best ways to uh, get that referral traffic that you're looking for is very similar to a lot of the other efforts that you might be doing for building links and link building to your website. You're gonna want to have very high quality content that's uh, extremely original, that is referenceable, that includes things like statistics, images, videos, in-depth discovery interviews, podcasts, and very comprehensive and maybe even sometimes controversial subjects that people would want to share and link to. And when you get those shares and links, that's, that's an opportunity for flow through traffic. One thing that you'll, you'll notice on sites who might be building spammy links or, or illegitimate links is that they have a much uh, smaller share of their overall traffic is going to be coming from referral traffic because all of the articles that they're producing might be on private blog networks or 
other shady tactics, potentially uh, from web directories that no human actually visits, or even uh, forum links and things of that nature where not, not a single person's ever going to see that. The search engine spiders are, will see it, and that's the whole purpose of, their, of the existence of those links. And so you're not going to get the referral traffic from uh, two websites who are building links in that manner. Um, there are a number of other ways to get referral traffic, including uh, volunteering, making appearances on uh, shows like, like this one, uh, podcasts, volunteering uh, for events uh, can also get you referral traffic because you, you might get linked to from a very high uh, profile page, maybe an about us or a partners page on another uh, website. And then uh, just some general notes on uh, building that type of, of authority is that you're going to want to make sure that, um, that, the, that the traffic is, is relevant. You know, um, We've had a lot of folks come to us and say, hey, I, I'd really like to have a brand mention um, or a social share on XYZ website. And oftentimes, a share on those type of websites, they're not going to be kind of your typical desired do follow links. They're going to be uh, links from no follow, uh, no followed links because the sites are very high authority. But the reality of the situation is, is when those sites have the large amount of traffic and eyeballs that are being visit that are visiting them, that the flow through traffic as a result uh, will have an impact and maybe even a, a greater impact on sales and leads. Now. Are, are you typically going to get a sale or a lead off of a, off of a link uh, in, 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 on a reference page? Um, not unless it's actively promoted as, as well. You know, uh, that's really the world of affiliate marketing is, is, those, is those type of cookie, cookie-based links. But the, 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 in general, it's, uh, referral traffic is more about building brand awareness Getting the traffic in general allows you also to capture those top of the funnel leads. Maybe they're not uh, pregnant and ready to ready to go at the moment, but they the top of the funnel leads allows you to bring them in. Maybe they subscribe to your newsletter, and then you start dripping them over a period of six, twelve, eighteen months, and you can slowly convert them over time. Uh, I'm going to link to a number of different uh, references here in the show notes that'll be really he- helpful, including. Um, external publication uh, references and things that you can do to increase your referral traffic. What have you done to increase your referral traffic? We'd love to hear about it. We'd love to know more about uh, how you have done it. And also we'd like to hear from you uh, in terms of the the types of content you'd like to see more of here on the podcast. Uh, Like, subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you here again very soon. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.